We ask that you please sign your phone and prepare your heart to celebrate the sacred leadership. As we gather again on the Lord's day to hear his words, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his path, chosen people, holy people, we join our hearts and voices in prayer. Our song this evening is Father Delphine. We stand.
God. May you earn the understanding and under those who set out in haste to meet your son. But may our learning of heaven and wisdom gain us admittance to his company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. And there's a this class for the special intentions of the sick, real, divorced, and widow of our parish. Also for the health of MJ Rimano, Sierra Reyes, and Ray Lusano, and for the recovery of David Zian Nipaliki. The special intentions of Sandra Ford. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from its roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon it, a spirit of wisdom and understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength. A spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he go, nor by hearsay shall he decide, but he shall judge the poor with justice, and decide the right for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band around his waist, and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be a guest of the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with a little child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall be neighbors. Together their young shall rest. The lion shall eat hay like the ox. The baby shall play by the cobra's den, and the child lay his hand on the adder's lair. There should be no harm or ruin on all my holy mountain. For the earth shall be filled with knowledge of the Lord as water covers the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse, set up as a signal for the nations, the Gentiles shall seek out for his dwelling shall be glorious. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, brothers and sisters. Whatever was written previously was written for our instruction, that by endurance and by the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to think in harmony with one another in keeping with Christ Jesus, that with one accord you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome one another then, as Christ welcomed you for the glory of God. For I say that Christ became a minister of the circumcised to show God's truthfulness, to confirm the promises to the patriarchs, but so that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. As it is written, Therefore, I will praise you among the Gentiles, and sing praises to your name. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. John the Baptist appeared, preaching in the desert of Judea, and said, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It was of him that the prophet Isaiah had spoken when he said, A voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. John wore clothing made of camel's hair and had a leather belt around his waist. His food was locusts and wild honey. At that time, Jerusalem, all Judea, and the whole region around the Jordan were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. When he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, You brutal vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath, produce good fruit as evidence of your repentance, and do not presume to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I tell you, God can raise up children to Abraham from these stones. Even now the axe lies at the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. I am baptizing you with water for repentance. But the one who is coming after me is mightier than I. I am not worthy to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand. He will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into his burn. But the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear friends, in today's Gospel, John the Baptist goes about all over Judea waking up people from their sleep as a voice crying out in the desert with a simple and clear message what is that simple and clear message in today's gospel prepare the way of the lord make straight his paths that's it what made john the baptist's message powerful was his very person and his very self because John the Baptist practiced what he preached. Like we say, he walked his talk. And people were drawn to him because of his, you know, utter simplicity and his straightforward messages. And here was a prophet who did not put people to sleep. Here was a man so to say, who comforted the disturbed and the and disturbed the comfortable. So John the Baptist said that what had to be said and not what people wanted to be said. We must preach God's word in season and out of season. You know, otherwise, we become just a simple entertainers. But John the Baptist has a very clear and simple challenge to all of us Christians. And what is that? Produce good fruits as evidence of your repentance. Repentance and conversion will not only happen, you know, during this Advent 
or Lent. Oh, it's Advent season, it's Lenten season. Now is the time to change. Repent. Not that repentance and conversion, it won't happen only during this season. It should be forever. But in what way? You know, it is by begging pardon for our sins. Because you know, sin is like a poison in the body, right? When you commit sin, it is like a poison in the body which slowly kills. And penance is the way to detoxify our souls. That's why we have the sacrament of confession. That's why this coming December 16, we have a so-called penance service. And you will know about it later. And to prepare for God's coming, you know, we need to do some house cleaning. Because we know important person is coming. So we need to do the house cleaning. We must make room for Him by getting rid of the sins that we have. That's why sacramental confession is a great help. My dear friends, we are not only for Christ looking, but we are looking forward for His coming at the end of times. So we are so very thankful for His continual presence in us. But you know, Jesus can only enter into our heart that is contrite and pure. That is a changed heart. Like what Mother Ther Saint Teresa of Calcutta, as we called before Mother Teresa, now Saint, she said, change your hearts. Unless we change our hearts, we are not converted. Beautiful. So reform, repent, reform our lives, and turn away from sin. Say we are sorry. I am sorry. We are sorry. And when we say we are sorry, we walk with it. Do it now. Because tomorrow may be too late. Now is the acceptable time. Because the kingdom of God is at hand. So my dear sisters and brothers, as you know, today we are still now in the process of our offertory program. So we will talk again about our about operatory program. You remember the first time when Marla came the, two weeks ago when explained you know, in her own experience about that operatory, how, how she did it. And then last Sunday, I gave, you know, a homily and in connection also to the operatory program. And now is our commitment weekend. So by now, maybe most of us have received a brochure in the bay. Have you received this kind? Explaining our parish operatory program? Who brought it? I think you did not uh, bring it, no? Anyway, you can, when you have time, you can read it. But then, my dear sisters and brothers, in the brochure, as you read this, so you should have received a commitment card. And if you have brought it with you today, please, do you have? Or if not, hand it to an answer during the collection. Okay, but, uh, but if you don't bring it today, it's okay. We will be walking everyone through on how we make a commitment today with commitment cards or online. Now, before we get started, the Paris Operatory Program is designed to give us all an opportunity to support the parish. And we understand not everyone can give the same, but God calls us to be generous. By making a commitment, we will enable our parish finance council to better predict and come and prepare budgets more effectively. You know, in Corinthians chapter 9, verses 6 to 7, it says, The person who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and the person who sows generously will also reap generously. Each person should do as he decided in his heart. Not reluctantly or out of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. And all are being asked to support our parish based upon the turning of fair measure of the gifts God has given to us. You know, 
any information that you provide is strictly under the guardianship of this parish and the diocese. No information about your parish involvement or about your specific level of financial support is ever provided to anyone. So your, confi your confidentiality is assured. Now I am here to assist you as you make your commitment to support the work of our parish. And today you can either make your commitment via the commitment card. If you see, maybe, this commitment card, you can find that in your pews or online with your smartphone and we will be doing both together. Now, if you'd like to make your commitment with the NPU card, please have one member of your family pick up the commitment card and also we have the pencil. Okay? Maybe if you can pick it up, this commitment card and the pencil. I think it's there in the pews. So you have, you know, I cannot see you. I need to see you all. You see, now, three. Now, first, you will indicate, and maybe as uh, you know, the projector also is there. You will indicate how much you would like to commit to Vertori each week by placing a check mark next to one of the dollar amounts shown. Have you seen that amount dollar shown? Or you can write down in a specific amount you would like to give each week in the section mark other. You see? Now, I'll give you time to... So maybe you can check. Here is the 100, 75, 50, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, other. Any amount that you will uh, give. Okay? And next, you will fill in your name. Now write down your name. Your address. Or you have the apartment number. Your telephone number, telephone, cell phone, or where we can easily contact you. And email in that following section. So I am also doing mine because I am, I am excited to be a member of this parish, right? I want to be a parishioner of this parish, of course, right? Okay. Next, you will indicate if you use your parish envelopes. And if you do, please jot down your envelope number. After that email address in this commitment card, do you currently use parish envelopes? If yes, what is your envelope number? Just write down your envelope number. Now, if you do currently use parish envelopes and will be giving a physical donation each week, the parish office will mail your envelopes in the upcoming weeks. Lastly, please indicate on the last line if you would like to donate your commitment each week via online giving. The very last. So you check if you want the via online giving. And we will do that. Uh, we will show how. Now, if you are done of, uh, you know, filling it up, may I ask the ushers to please collect those? So the ushers will now collect the cards that were just completed. And on behalf of our parish staff and leadership, I thank you for all your help. And now, those who would like to do online, we will go now to, yeah, to online. 
If you would like to make your commitment online, I ask that a designated member of each household to take out and turn on their smartphone. Who has? Those who want to do online. For example, I want to do online. So, your camera, please. And let, let's take selfie. Ah, oh, no, just now. So, <laughs> so, this online. So, if you want the online. Now, what we will be doing now is walking you through on how to make a commitment online. Okay, when you have already your online, so you just open the camera. If you have that uh, Android, you take out and turn on to your smartphone. So first everyone will need to access their phone's camera and open your cameras to scan QR codes. So like that. So if you have this Apple, so you know the QR code, right? When you go to the restaurant, wherever, now is the QR code. And now you can see here now. If you have an Android phone, please open Google camera and scan it. That uh, scan the QR code. Okay, when you have it, now you have to scroll down. Okay, so scroll down, and as you scroll down, until you see the commitment sounds. And here you can click how much you would like to commit to giving each week. You can see, you can find it here. But if you do not see an amount that you desire to give, please type in the amount you would like in the section mark other. For example, you want $12 and there's no $12 here. Other, you check it and you make 12 to that required to that box and then you do it if you want 12 weekly or how much monthly you say you type the word weekly or monthly next scroll down and fill in the following boxes just the same first and last name the first name the last name the address phone number and email and lastly please let us know if you currently use envelopes in the bottom section it's here you can see do you currently use parcel envelopes if yes what is your number so you can write it down now if you would like to donate your commitment strictly online, you click the small box that says online. There is a small box here that says online. And for those who do not wish to donate strictly online and do not have or do not use parish envelopes, we will automatically assign and mail you a packet of parish envelopes. And these parish envelopes are how we keep track of commitments and ensure you receive a donation letter at the end of each year for tax purposes. Now, if everything is filled out, please click Submit. And ushers, do not collect their phone. That's their own. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, okay, my dear sisters and brothers, on behalf of Bishop Kota, the Diocese of Stockton, I myself, the parish staff, the parish pastoral council, the parish finance council, I wish to thank you all for your continuing generosity from the bottom of my heart. You know, I'm just five months here in this parish, and I want that we work together, we help each other, and as we continue to journey now, from the bottom of my heart, I would like to thank you all for all your help, for your generous help, financial support, for all our ministries for this parish. And may the Lord God bless you always. Thank you.
please rise and let us profess our belief. I believe in one God. Although it is visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God and Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from God, true God from God, the God of God, and substantially the Father, truly the most things to be, for us men and for our salvation, the kingdom of God, and the Holy Spirit, who is incarnate in the Virgin Day, and the Amen. First day, he was crucified under the one's fire. He suffered death in my spirit, and rose again in the earth, in the coins of the He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living dead, and is seen out of heaven. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and Giver of God, who proceeds to Father and Son. With the Father and the Son is a door to your God, the spoken to the cross. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and the Son. I confess on the Lord Jesus for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the Lord Amen. As we make our preparations for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, may we be mindful of others who stand in need of grace. Let us not turn to God, please compassion to our Lord, and bring before Him these petitions that we offer in fullness of heart. That the Church may prepare the hearts of men and women around the world for the coming of its Savior, Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That world leaders be prepared to set aside their grievances and work for a world that is more just more peaceful, and more prosperous, prosperous for everyone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That we will consider the many ways that we can build up the kingdom of God this advent and avoid the many distractions of the season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That those who have trouble believing in the mercy of God may come to find that mercy through his mystical body, the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the sick in our community may know God's healing, both within and without. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That those who are living without shelter this time of year find and accept the assistance they need to live fully in the dignity that God has endowed in them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the single, divorced and widowed of our prayer, for whom this Mass is celebrated, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Gracious God, you have given your people hope because you are a God who keeps promise from age to age. You promised that you would hear the prayer.
Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have the merits to plead our cause, come we pray for our rescue, with the protection of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He has zoomed at His first coming, the loneliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design for no Lord, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great cross in which now we dare to hold. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end, we acclaim. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
For this is the chance of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
prayers. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who will suffer the Lord. Lord, Surge of communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Replenish with the full of spiritual nourishment. <clears throat> we have to beseech you, o Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Please be seated and press my hands, please. During the single, divorced, and widowed ministry tomorrow, December 4th, in the Monsignor Leon Hall, for a taste of international food. Mass for the Immaculate Conception will be at 7.30 a.m. and 6 p.m. on Thursday, December 8th, in the church. This is a holy day of obligation. Advent Recollection. We invite you to join us on December 16th at 5 p.m. for an evening of reflection as we await the joyful season of Christmas. We have a guest speaker who will share with us the meaning of that and will help us revive our faith. After the reflection, approximately 7 o'clock, there will be a communal penance service. The Knights of Columbus will be hosting their annual breakfast with Santa on Sunday, December 11th, after the 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. Masses. We are partnering with the Salvation Army to bring joy to children in our community this Christmas. And you can pick up the angel tags in the back of the church or the parish office for the angel church. And would that we encourage you, if you can say the day of our Advent reflection that was just, uh, being, uh, just announced. So again, it will be on December 16th. And it's an, a beautiful opportunity for us to be together, say the day, maybe bring your family, your friends, because uh, uh, we have this, uh, this recollection, so in preparation for the coming of our Lord Jesus. And what is the most important after that, uh, and then uh, after our speaker, so of course we have maybe some uh, pray, and then by seven o'clock I invited some priests, not only me, so to do this uh, penance service. Please come again December 16th, save the day, and uh, you know invite your family and friends. And as you go out, the angel is there, so you can pick up in the Christmas. So thank you so much, please rise for our final blessing. The Lord be with you. Bow your hands and pray for God's blessing, and let your response be Amen. May Almighty God be strengthened and purify you with His forgiveness, now and forever. Amen. May He fill you with His consolation and hope, and this is of preparation for Christmas, now and forever. Amen. And may God make you steadfast in faith, joyful in hope, and that fire in love on the days of your life. Now and forever. Amen. And the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed night, all. Keep safe.